Hello everyone. How is your extruding going? So hopefully you're you're making uh, lots of giant parts like this and you're getting really good at the extrusion and uh, you're closing it when you feel like it and you're making a new one. Uh, but today what I want to show you is something that will help make this process a little bit more interesting. It's not not hard at all. It is the inset tool. So let's find a face here. Um, I want to reflect back on something from quite a while ago in preferences. Uh, notice here, I pick a face, and do you see how I'm rotating around it? That was the uh, orbit rotate around objects selected, whatever the heck it was called, right? So if I pick that, see now it selects around there. So if you're having problems navigating and shifting and whatevering and getting over to the thing that you're trying to get to, and oh my goodness, just pick a thing and then you could rotate around it and it's going to help you get where you want a bit faster, okay? So let's, uh, yeah, let's pick this face right here. So the inset tool works like this. I hit the I key, watch the, watch the screencast key. So I hit the I key and then I can move this in and out. So see my cursor over on the side there, I just bring it out, in and out, and there's this little dashed line going towards the center there. Uh, and then when I click this, I now have another face on the inside that I could do something with, like extrude in or out. And how cool is that? So now I can make myself a, a little little kind of a socket in there or a chimney or whatever you want. Now what I do want to show you though is what's happening here. So when we did the inset, we brought in kind of like a scale of sorts. Uh, we brought in another square, but uh, the square here is, remember, just four more points on the sides here and those have to be connected. So that's where we get this line from. And if you look at wireframe mode, watch my keys, shift Z, this is kind of messy. So if I turn it this way, you'll see what's going on. Uh, now I'm looking kind of through from the backside. It was out here, we brought the square in, there is another vertex put in right there and then a line connecting it. And then of course the last one was inset and the same kind of stuff you're seeing there, okay? So um, that's, that's what the inset tool does. That's, it's really, really, really that simple. But what you can do now is if you're careful, you can grab um, other faces here and uh, inset them. But see, some of these are pretty skinny and you can actually kind of do this wacko invert thing. Um, see that, that funny looking color in the middle there? They call that Z fighting and that's not, uh, it's not good. So we don't want to do that, okay? Um, sometimes it happens by accident, sometimes maybe it's unavoidable and then you have to do a lot of work to fix it, okay? So we just sort of scooch that in a little bit and then extrude that in or out, whatever looks most interesting to you, okay? Uh, now, the uh, uh, thing I wanna show you about this is it's a little bit um, interesting how it works and there's other tools that kind of do the same thing as well, okay? So I'm gonna pick this face and I'm gonna inset it. Right, no problem. Okay, now let's do this again. So I, I, I um, click away. Okay, I pick the face and I inset. And it doesn't seem like it's working. And you wiggle around and, it, and it's maybe moving just a little bit. And you probably caught what's going on here. It works from the, uh, and this is a designer choice, right? And I think it's pretty good. You just have to remember to get your cursor on the outside because the further out you are, the more you can push it in. And of course, that's not gonna work, but but it gives you all this ability out here, you see? Let me do this one more time. So you, uh, here, I'll pick that face and then I'll pick this one. So you come up here and you pick a face, which it's usually pretty common to just pick it in the center. Um, move your mouse away real fast before you hit I on the keyboard, hit I, and then you could bring that in, okay? And then if you want, then you could hit I again as well, right? And now I want to show you this last little bit. Do you see, look at my hotkeys over there, the, the screencast keys. You see it says I'm holding down shift. Can you tell that I'm moving it a lot, but it's not moving very much? Now watch, I'm going to let go of shift. And now it moves quicker. This is a common key that you want to remember. It works with um, anything, really. Anything um, that, that moves with your mouse cursor. Watch, watch this. So I'll pick this face here and I hit I to inset, I hold down shift, and now it moves really slow. So let's say that I had uh, something like this, and then I pick this face in here, and I, uh, I'm gonna hold down control to zoom in because it's gonna go wacko on me. Ooh. And then I'm gonna hit I to inset, but that's, that's a real tiny inset there. So I hold down shift, 
And now I can move this really carefully, just where I want it, give it a click, and then I could extrude that in, you see? Now, just to show you how um, this slick trick works in a lot of different places, I'm gonna pick a number over here, which happens to be a scale factor, uh, so whatever, some things are gonna go crazy. But if I move this around, <laughs> uh, I happen to be stretching the entire thing, which is kind of kind of interesting, right? But watch my numbers over here and watch my mouse. What I'm doing is I'm just moving the mouse back and forth, right? But it disappears when I grab this. Now I'm gonna hold down Shift. And it got a lot slower. And now I'm gonna let go of Shift. And now it goes faster again, all right? So, um, and then I'm gonna click in that field and I'm gonna type one to put it back to normal. So the, uh, um, the shift key will help you with your insets here and, and just about anything um, if it's kind of in a, in a tight uh, zone, okay? So if you didn't figure it out already, this is your next task. You're going to keep doing what you're doing, but now we're gonna inset and then we're gonna extrude and then maybe extrude some more and extrude some more. Then I pick this face and then I inset that a little bit and then I can extrude that out and so on and so forth.